What's up all my beautiful viewers and handsome viewers for all you men out there watching my video. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I have a lot of energy today. I'm sorry. So guys, first off, yes my shirt says Paris. Um, I was not there. My mother was. But thank you mommy because I love this shirt. It's so cozy and warm. I practically lived in it for a week after she bought it for me. So guys, you are in for a real treat today. I'm going to be filming not one, not two, but three videos today. And I'm too lazy to change my shirt. But I will be wearing the same exact clothes. I'll be in different locations, but just wearing the same shirt. Anyway, so as you guys can see in the lovely, beautiful title I made, that I'm going to be filming my October favorites. Sorry guys, I'm back. My cat decided she wanted to make a little appearance and yeah. So guys, these are my October monthly beauty favorites, as you guys can read in the lovely title. So let's not waste any time and dive right in. So guys, my first non-beauty favorite of October were letters. And I know you're going to be like, who writes letters? Well, my boyfriend does. He was in, he's like currently at basic training, and the fact that he's been writing me letters is so sweet. Um, I'm just so in love with him, and I'm so proud of him. And he is in the third platoon. His color is blue, and the mascot is Spartans. And yeah, I'm super excited. Sorry, my cat is walking on my prop. So I love coming home and getting letters from him just because they make me feel good. And they're kind of like an exciting thing. They're kind of like, oh, letters. Yay. So yeah. Next, my favorite drink of October was uh, my local grocery store's brand of hot chocolate. But this is salted caramel, you guys. This smells so good. So luxurious and I don't want to say sensual but like just makes you feel all warm and it smelled exactly like caramel and salt like salty but not like oh you know I love salted caramel I love salted anything so yeah next up another favorite of mine was this cookbook it's just the dust cover or whatever you call these um but this is the hungry girl diet cookbook i accidentally left it at my parents house because i was reading it and i took off the cover i don't know why but some of her recipes are so amazing and it's i think this is kind of cute it says losing weight has never been easier or more delicious. And these recipes actually are really good. I made one out of here. What did I made? I made... Oh, I made the... Mac and chicken and cheese. And it actually was really good. And it's a really cute book. It says... Uh, all, 200 all new recipes to help you drop a pound, uh, a go-to guide for grocery shopping, money saving, meal prepping, and more, and it's a perfect addition to any, to the Hungry Girl Diet, or any flexible weight loss plan. And this book actually is really good, like, it has the, you know, typical recipes that you love, but it makes them healthier. So, if you're looking for a good cookbook, check that out. She's amazing. I love her. My next favorite cookbook that I was reading at work is The Pioneer Woman's Come and Get It. I just love this color ASMR. Um, I just love the color of this cookbook. And Ray Drummond is an amazing cook. And what I love about this cookbook is it actually has like pictures like look at that this is the shrimp po boy so it actually shows you step one step two step three step four step five step six step seven 
And it has, like, pictures of her family. And obviously, she took all the pictures, which I think is awesome. So, definitely, I'm excited. I did read this mainly at work when it was very slow. So, the fact that I was able to purchase it made me very happy. Next, I've been enjoying this coffee creamer. This coffee creamer is Nestle's Coffee Me Butter Pecan. You guys, this tastes exactly like if you melted down butter pecan ice cream, put it in a creamer. That's what it tastes like. Like, I was so shocked. It was spot on. It's so creamy. It tastes like the real thing. I loved it. It actually kind of made me want to drink coffee more. And I'm impressed. So I'm definitely going to go back and repurchase this. Maybe try out another one. If you guys have any coffee creamers that you like, leave it in the comments down below and let me know. Next is this candle. I know it's looking a little weird, but I literally just lit it. It's Jam and Scents Pumpkin Spice Scented Soy Candle. You guys, this candle smells amazing it smells a lot like pumpkin spice but it's not like a stickly sweet pumpkin spice it's more of a softer pumpkin spice and it definitely lights up a room like makes a room smell good like I had it lit in my bathroom when I was taking a bath and you can smell this pretty strongly but it's just a very warm pumpkin spice scent like I definitely smell the cinnamon and then every once in a while you'll get a hint of pumpkin which is awesome and the fact that this was only a dollar was impressive and I got this at family dollar which is even more impressive next I've really been into word searches this book was originally $6.99 then it was $5.99 and then I got it for like two bucks at my job and I like how it says find the words and, and increase your calm so I love doing a word search at night and I actually have really cool like puzzles like puzzle 71 is household pets so I think that's pretty awesome and it's a pretty good travel size which I think is really cool Okay, getting back to the food, my uh, another monthly favorite of mine has been Guy's Grocery Games. If you guys have not watched that, I would definitely go look it up on YouTube. I have, or you can go over to my playlist, but you guys, Guy's Grocery Games is so funny because they have so many fun games. Basically, it's a show where competitors cook in a in an actual grocery, I mean, not in a grocery store anymore, but they'll have to cook a recipe, like, let's say, pork favorite, a pork dinner, but it has to use one ingredient from all ten aisles, so it's like, oh, so it's kind of cool, or they'll do, you know, diner favorites, but only can use seven ingredients or less, so... You know, it's a really fun show, and it's one of my favorites. So, I definitely recommend that show if you like that. And it's kind of cool, because you can actually incorporate some of the show into your real life. I've actually tried it. Um, I've tried it with a couple friends, and we've done it, and we've all loved it. So, if you're looking for a cool thing to do, go do it. It's fun. Um, my second to last thing has been this book. This is called Improvising Medicine, an African Oncology Ward in an Emerging Cancer Epidemic. Now, I want to put out a little of your discretion as advice because this book definitely talks about stuff that's not for the faint of heart. It talks about, you know, rotting flesh. It talks about, you know, open wounds. And what's really interesting is... Um, on the back it says they conveyed the contingency of high-tech 
medicine in a hospital where vital machines are often broken, drugs go in and out of stock, and bed space is always a premium. So the writer actually like pulls you in to the story. It's a true story, but she actually pulls you in and makes you feel like you're there and you're you know, you're suffering with the family. You're, you know, there with, you know, her seeing it. And it's just, it's definitely an interesting read. It was a textbook for our, for one of the classes at my job, because I work at a college bookstore. And it's just, it amazes me. And if you really like this book, I would recommend watching the YouTube program Saving Soweto because that also kind of correlates in here. They actually talk about the hospital in Saving Soweto, Chris Heine Berguanif Hospital, and yeah. And then going along with the medical stuff, my final favorite of October has been medical shows. I'm not talking about ER, Chicago Med, you know, any of those, because those, ironically, are scripted. But I like the shows where they actually go into the emergency room and show you what is going on. Like, last night, um, well, one of my favorite shows is Trauma Doctors or Trauma Investigators, um, you know, just the way they show you how, um, they treat the patients and also saving the way so even though I've seen it time and time again, I just, it always brings me back. So thank you guys so much for watching. I cannot see what, I cannot wait to see what November has in stock for us and I also cannot wait to see what December has in stock for me so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video hit the like button down below subscribe and remember just be yourself bye